Thank you for saying that. I do think you know, our efforts in multiculturalism, diversity, pluralism are always important, but I think they're particularly important given what's going on both in the United States and around the world currently regarding interactions between people from different backgrounds and different races. And I think everything we can do to help our students understand these issues at a higher level, to some extent to develop them as true global citizens. Uh, we are serving not only them, but the rest of the world. So to conclude the opening of school meeting and sort of ceremony for the, uh, for the Lake Forest Academy parents, we'll be having our opening uh, ceremony for the students and faculty and staff tomorrow when we have the school handshakes. But to conclude this meeting, I'm just going to add a few uh, final words as we begin the year and reflect on LFA's kind of steadfast commitment to providing that excellence of experience for each and every LFA student and for our passion, and it is a passion, to develop and educate true global citizens. You know, ours, LFA, is a commitment to intellectual inquiry. It's a commitment to ethics and character. It's a commitment to global awareness. A commitment to individual student growth within the context of their ownership of their own education experience. We're proud of our commitment and of the learning environment we create. And the students need to know that we will do everything we can to fulfill our promise to the entire student body. And as parents, I hope you know that too. In particular, I just want to emphasize as we start the year, this power of imagination, creativity, experiment, and innovation in learning and education. We live in an age of extraordinary potential, and that the opportunities for our students are virtually limitless in today's world. But to take advantage of those opportunities, we must think about how we can create the environment for the students to use their imaginations and to be creative and how we can inspire intellectual and personal growth and embrace innovation in our learning and education. Some kind of simple phrase, how we can help our students to think outside the box. In 1899, Charles Duell, who was then the director of the US Patent Office, said, everything that can be invented has been invented. This is 1899. Clearly, he had not taken his inspiration for his words from the great creative minds that were besieging his office for new applications. Creativity, original thinking, thinking outside the box was then, as it is now, vital for education and progress. So, what does thinking outside the box really mean for our students and faculty today? Now, we may not see the box, but it surrounds and contains us. It is defined, defined by certain parameters that we allow to form. They are our established way of thinking, our expectations of ourselves and others. They are our views and our viewpoints. They might even be our values and beliefs. They are the certainties we have faith in, and even the comfort zones that we feel safe in, as Simon just mentioned. They are the patterns of our life. So how do we help our students break these constraints? break outside the box. Uh, for faculty, it's to create an environment of creativity and open thought, an educational environment that allows our students to be at the center of their own learning, evaluating and thinking about new concepts. For parents, it's to allow and encourage your children, our students, to embrace new challenges, explore new interests and ideas, and for you to encourage them to do so. For students, it's going to require that they open their minds and see the world and their opportunities grandly and pluralistically rather than through a single and constricted lens. We want them to grow into true global citizens in every way possible, but you know, they have to play their part. Now, LFA has made great progress in the past 14 years. I'm extremely proud of our achievements and those of our graduates. You know, our program, facilities, students' experiences all make great strides and improved in all ways. And we're committed to ensuring further progress in the education of all of our students. A 
truly believe that our school can make a difference in our students' lives, just as I believe that their actions will have great and significant consequences for the future. They're going to make a difference. But I just want them to think that much more. It's an exciting time to be out at LFA. I went my words today uh, before we head over for the picnic with two quotes for reflection. The first is from the American philosopher, somewhat controversial, Noam Chomsky, who wrote, education must provide the opportunities for self-fulfillment. It can and should provide a rich and challenging environment for the individual to explore and involve in his or her own way. And the second is from the Scottish-Canadian inventor, Alexander Graham Bell, who wrote, when one door closes, another opens. But we often look so long and so regretfully upon the closed door that we do, not, we, do, we do not see the one which is open for us. Bottom line here, we want our students to see and grasp their opportunities, to be prepared, and while being true to themselves, to be creative and flexible. In other words, to think outside the box. With those words, I welcome all of the parents to a new school year at Lake Forest Academy.